Hey everyone, it's me. <clears throat> I did get three turns out of my machine. Only sold three papers. I usually, even if I leave them in until Tuesday when I pick up, drop off their papers and pick up the returns from Friday, they never sell them anyways. <clears throat> and you also have to have them out of the machine at a certain time. <clears throat> so, like I said, I don't sell... If there's not much in the paper... Because what people will do is they'll look up, look at, at it online, and if <clears throat> if there's not much in the paper, they won't sell very many. <clears throat> yeah, I had the right amount of money, but I knew there was going to be at least two or three papers because there wasn't much in today's paper. <clears throat> Even if I would have waited up until like past midnight and came out here to get them, there would have been at least three papers left in the machine because people don't buy the paper like they used to. They look at it online. <clears throat> and the one that the one that runs the store, Lawanda, she had told me the one day <clears throat> when I was getting the returns out of the machine. And I said, well, I only, I've got four papers in there, and I said, so I only sold two. I said, I'll just take two out, and I'll leave the other two in there, and she told me the one day. She goes, you might as well take all four of them out. She goes, because I don't see you selling them. And what hurt the, the newspaper when I started working for them is they used to have a paper on Mondays. They cut Mondays out. And not even six months later, they raised the price. <clears throat> so I think that's what hurt them is when they cut one day out of the paper, which is on Mondays, and they raised the price. Because a Sunday paper used to be $1.25, now it's $1.50. And a lot of people's not going to spend $1.50 on a newspaper if there's not much in there. But I'm going to stop it right here. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.